you got a lot of people out there who think they're going to get away. They're going to do people dirty. They're going to never get caught. You will be caught. Whether it's through the laws of karma in the universe or whether it's through the old man kicking in the door get on the ground or maybe the bullet might get you see whatever gets you you gave it to yourself you put out negative energy you gotta think long term you got a lot of people out there oh I'm gonna take I'm gonna rob this and we'll get this amount and blah blah But then when you do the calculations and the amount of time that you're going to have to serve for what you've done, see, it doesn't pan out. It's not going to work out for you. Yeah. See, the person who's good, the person who gives freely without expecting anything back, the person who tries to help and, you know, be of service to others The individual who, you know, will give the clothes off their back, literally, for people. See, these are the people that will be chosen and get good karmic energy from the universe. A lot of people wonder why bad things happen to them now. Why is this all happening to me? This, that. I'm going to tell you why this and that is happening to you. See, what you put out is what you're going to get back. I keep telling people all the time. All you have to do to advance in life, get a, your own place, car, you know, and have an active income source. And once you have all those three and you're living by yourself, you got your little transportation, and you got your job or whatever. Now all that free time you have, see what you want to do with that is go within yourself, find that self-love. You want to go within yourself and find, you know, self-love could be, I want to try these new things. Self-love could be, let me try therapy. Self-love can be anything you do, which is positive to better your life. See, that could be going to school. I always tell people find their purpose. Purpose meaning, you know, do you want to be a doctor one day? All these things. You know what I used to do? Before I found art, I always would constantly ask random people in different careers. I'd see this construction guy and I would say, hey, uh, what, what is that for? What's your job about? I'd see the electrician guy or the guy in the, you know, on the phone poles. I'd ask him. I'd ask all types of people. You know, you even see a damn beekeeper. Ask them, hey, what's that job like? What's it paid? You just... That's how you find out, you know, what do I want to do maybe as far as a career. But see, it's rare you know, to find what you love to do and it doesn't feel like work. And that's why I told you in order to find what I found for you, you have to, or excuse me, what I found for myself, you have to find how I did and look in yourself. What do you like to do? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Maybe you trying that favorite food you know, and someone who's wearing your favorite color happens to mention something that you never thought about. And then that person tells you, oh yeah, come down here. You never know. Anything can happen. I had a random guy come up to me. Hey, do you want to do an interview? I'm like, okay, for some radio, you know, just to ask me about weather questions, anything can happen. It was just random. And I was like, I'm not famous or nothing or whatever. But to me, I was like, that's cool. You know, anything really can happen. So you got to be willing to want to put in the work as well. See, a lot of people out there, they don't want to put in the work. See, putting in the work, it means actually doing what you want, what you set your mind and goals to do. I made this commitment almost four years ago that I was going to be advice from Jay nonstop for 10 straight years. I got uh, six or seven more years to go. And see, a lot of people, they can't handle that long-term mindset. You got to learn to develop that long-term mindset. You got to learn to save your money. Stop being like, oh, I got this much, you know, I'm big boss, you know, let me buy this, let me buy that. And eventually, you've capped out. You hit zero. Now you got to sit your ass down. And then when you're sitting your ass down broke, You'd be thinking, damn, if I did have this money, all I have to do is what I'm doing now is sit like I'm broke, but don't touch it. That's how I learned how to save money. You got to you got to learn to 
ignore all the triggers. Usually the first and the 15th of the month is when you always see motherfuckers running around with the money. So avoid the people who are spending money. Avoid the foot traffic. Do, 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 do. You got to get out of there. For you ladies out there, thank you for listening. You know, to you men out there, thank you for listening. I just appreciate all you guys have done for me. You know, appreciate the likes, the comments, the shares, the donations, everything. You guys are awesome. And I hope we all make it together. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We're all equal. And why not, as a collective, share each other's knowledge of what we learned here in life together so we can all become one and be great together as the human race. For I see no color. For I see no ethnicity, all I see is another human as myself. I appreciate all you guys. And uh, you already know how we're going to end this, man. I ain't ending it that way, man. You already know, man. Stay motivated to do the things that you said you were going to do. So what that means is stop being the person who says they're going to do something, then you don't want to do it. Do it. Stop me in the person who let me seek praise and approval and go online and ask multiple people on whatever social media platforms. Yeah, um, what do you guys think I should do? I'm thinking about this and that. Don't ask them because a lot of people see when you're trying to do good in life, you're a mirror to a lot of people who aren't doing good in life and they know they should be doing the right thing, but they don't want to do the right thing. See, that's a reflection what you're doing. That's good. And see, it makes them jealous. And then they want to hate on you. Or they'll act like... And see, you people don't realize. People who aren't genuine and who aren't real and they want to comment on your shit, you can just feel that energy, man. Their energy, even though they're masking it, is still negative. That's why I don't deal with posting anything that I do until I'm already there or pretty damn near close, done to it. You know? That's how I said... You got to be careful. But also, so basically how I wanted to finish that is, you know, it doesn't matter what other people's opinions are. Do what you want to do because their negative opinion could possibly deter you from something that would have been perfect for you that you would have loved to do. You know, so, uh, yeah, stay determined, man. I'm determined to get 2,000 subscribers, so hit that like and subscribe, thank you, and uh, lastly, uh, stay out those jail cells, because the same things that you would do illegally, you could do legally, you know, what that means is there's always an alternative to your crime, you know, you got a lot of guys breaking and entering in cars, be a damn mechanic, you know, got a lot of drug dealers out there, go get an education in medicine and find a cure for cancer. Put those businessman-like skills to the test and to use for the betterment of our creation, for the advancement of humans. Why do you want to, you know, destroy that? I get a little touchy on these subjects when it comes to the expansion of consciousness and life and elevation amongst others. But um, lastly, how I wanted to end this, how I end every one of my videos, I always yell knowledge to the top of my lungs because I truly believe that knowledge is power and it could save your life one day. So be a sponge and soak up all the knowledge you can, man. Yeah, man. And where did I get that from? Man, a long time ago in the military, this sergeant was like, hey, Sills. I was like, uh, yeah, sorry. He was like, be a sponge. And I was like, what? <laughs> But he, you know, I told him I'm taking that quote because when he explained it to me, it was really cool. And I was like, I'm going to tell people that one day. So, yeah, be a sponge so all the knowledge you can, man. Yeah, man. But y'all hear that, man? I know you hear that, man. I know what your body hear, but you know what? You know what? Hold on. Man, fuck. Damn. Knowledge, man. I'm out, man. Fuck it. Knowledge, man.